Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a traditional Spanish dinner, which is lean pork in tomato sauce. So let's begin. Well, we'll start off by turning the stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number seven. And I'm going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for that to heat up before adding the pork. Also this dish, the traditional way to eat it would be with um, chips or fried potatoes. Um, in my case today I'm going to be eating it with rice. I was going to eat it with boiled potatoes which is another good way to, to eat it with. But I've been having potatoes for the last seven days non-stop so I thought that rice would be a good change. So let's wait for this to heat up. Alright, so this oil seems hot enough. And by the way, to translate this dish to Spain, it's magro con salsa de tomate. I'll leave it up there spelt. Well, let's add the pork. So what I want to do, first of all, let's put some salt and pepper. I must get some pepper. Right, so what we'll do is just um, wait for this to all nicely brown off. I think it would be a good idea to turn the heat up a bit, don't you? Okay, this is frying nicely, so I'm going to turn the stove back down to number 7. And what I'm going to do is um, add the onion and the garlic, give it a mix, and I'll cover it up and I'll stir it in another two or three minutes. I want the onion to be translucent. Right, let's give this a move about. And um, by the way, if you want to know a bit more about this recipe, have a read in the description I've written down some, you know, something to read for your perusal. Right, a couple more minutes and the onions are ready and so is everything else. So I'll be back. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, this is ready for the next step. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier on, but the pork, I cut it into really small bite-sized pieces. And I've also got here my spinning rice pot of water ready for the rice okay let's stop messing about and get serious next step um, chuck in a couple of bay leaves in this case five little ones a glass of white vino Move it about a little bit. Cover it up and let it boil for five minutes so the alcohol evaporates. Okay, so the pig is drunk and I'm halfway there. And this is smelling delicious. So the next step is to 
add the tomato. Let's put some water in that and give it a shake. Let's give that a stir. And I'll also add in a bit of water just to cover it all up, you know. And now you have two choices. You can either turn it down to low on number three and leave it, cover it up and leave it for half an hour, stirring it occasionally just so that it doesn't stick. Or you can do what I do which is to cover it up, turn it down to number five, that's halfway, medium heat, and leave it there for 30 minutes. So I'll be back in 15 to give it a move. Righty ho. First 15 minutes have gone by, and this is looking nice. The sauce is thickening up nicely. Mmm, smelling really good. So, nothing else. We'll just cover it back up again. And leave it there for another 15 minutes. Ah, but first of all, just in case, I'll do a salt check. I know I had salt to the pig at the beginning, but just in case, you know. Perfect. Well, 15 minutes are up. And let's see what this is like. Oh, beautiful. Nice and soft. Mmm, yummy. Well, um, another way to do this, which I usually do, but I don't turn this off. <clears throat> I haven't done today. They do it in certain, like each region has their own way of doing it. This is the traditional way, it's the very basic, is to add some frozen peas on top. So if I had some frozen peas, which I haven't, because I forgot again to buy them, I would chuck in a, a handful, cover it back up, and just leave it there. And dinner is served. I'm still having doubts if to have rice with it or have chips. But anyway, I think I'm going to serve it up. Well, wait, wait a minute. Instead of peas, I just found three Brussels sprouts and a half from the other day. So I'm just going to chuck them in there. This is not part of the recipe, of course but it's some leftover sprouts. So I'm just gonna chuck them there. And in a minute, I'll put it on a dish, I think, so that I can get a thumbnail, etc, etc. Well, so here is today's lunch ready. All I need now is to make the rice Mm, maybe I'll make chips instead, I'll see. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my recipes. Um, thank you for watching 
and goodbye.